guys, Lexa here. So today we're going to do some Mardi Gras inspired makeup. And this is the outcome. So if you want to stay tuned, we will be finishing this look today. So I'm starting with a fresh face. I'm just going to tie my hair back. Put some moisturizer on and my Max Fix Plus. And I also have a black background behind me. Tell me if you like it. And don't mind the drawing. I was going to do something before, but now I decided not to. Using my Urban UK Eye Primer Potion and Sin. Put that on my eyelids. Now I'm using my MAC, I believe it's Studio Fix Fluid in NC25. And I'm just putting this on all over my face, blending into my hairline, my neck, by my ears, and then we're going to put my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder on top of that with a big old fluffy brush. As you can see, I've removed the line. I didn't like it. So, um, there's a lot of things I'm going to be like, don't pay attention to that. I couldn't make up my mind on what things I wanted in this look and what flowed right. Now I'm using my NYX Butt Naked Eyes palette and I'll be using this like dark brown color and I'm just going to fill my brows a little bit thicker than I usually would fill them in. I'm trying to catch every hair in there. Um, I already did do that one side so I'll just show you this one side of my brows. It's a really thick arch and then small tail. Now I'm using my Kat Von D palette, I'm using the color Wonderland, and I'm putting this under my low water lash line, and I'm just going to drag it out the outsides of my eye. And it kind of went down, so I'm just going to flip both the sides up more, because that's what I wanted to. And now I'm using this green eyeshadow from my Makeup Forever Technicolor palette, and it is nice and vibrant, but my cameras, like, they don't just do it any justice. It was so vibrant in person and I'm so upset. So I made just kind of a triangle point coming down from the inner eyebrow down to the point of my nose and now I'm using the color Babe again from the Kat Von D palette. I'm using this as my contour slash blush-ish. I'm just kind of taking this down and then giving myself a little bit of a rosy cheek. It's like a nice bright lavender purple. Now I'm using the yellow from the Technicolor palette and I'm going to be using this as my highlight. So I just blended this in with a uh, kind of a fluffier brush and um, yeah I just used this as my highlight. And I also took this down the center of my nose. Now I'm taking that green again I'm just kind of drawing like butterfly. You can know when you're a kitty you drew butterfly. Those were there. Oh gosh, I think, <laughs> like, I don't know the word, but it was like their antenna, I think that's what it is. So I'm just kind of drawing their antennas coming off from the front of my eyebrow. And now I'm using my Revlon Color Stain Matte Flip Color, and don't mind those two little dots in the front. I'm just drawing three little dots right under the outsides of my liner flick, and they get smaller as they go out to the outsides of my eye. And then I just used a very small detail brush and I just went around the antenna, the outside of the antenna. And I went on the inside a little bit just to outline it. You can kind of see it better there. And again, I took it under my eye and I drew some blue. I used the blue in a Technicolor palette and I also put three little dots right under my those dots that we just drew. And I'm taking the brown and the tan color mixing them together and kind of contouring making the nose kind of appear like it is popping out of my face and now I'm taking my color smooth taupe from my Maybelline lipstick and I'm just going to put this on my lips sorry I'm talking so fast I just wanted to get this out here do before Mardi Gras everything like that I'm using my hair Juku Lovers pencil and I'm just kind of Using that on the inner side of my of the flick, but the outside the inner side, and now I'm just taking again the Harajuku lovers, and I'm drawing kind of like beads, Mardi Gras beads, coming down into right by the middle of my eyebrows. And I was gonna do an intricate design, but there were so many things, like I said, I was really indecisive about what I wanted to put in here. And then after we put all these beads. It got kind of bigger as they came down by my nose. You can kind of see that one's a little bit big. And I'm not perfect at drawing circles, so I apologize. We're going to fill these in 
my hair is Jupiter Lovers, and then I took a darker lip pencil, Max Night Moth, and then I'm going to just blend them in for the hair is Jupiter Lovers, and you can blend them in. I blended them in with a pencil, and they all just kind of blended in really nicely. So, we also used, um, again, the uh, Makeup Forever, the brown and the tan, just to make them kind of stand up and pop out. So you guys can see there, right there. I didn't want to add that in because I didn't like so much contouring. You guys can figure it out. I just basically put it under the beads on my face to make it look kind of 3D-ish. Now I'm taking my next Gemma Eye Pencil Milk and just giving the beads a little highlight on the detail brush. This took me a long time because I had to keep cleaning the brush because it kept getting filled with the red and it was driving me nuts. So just fill in where you think the highlight would be. Now I'm taking my art line from Lancome Liquid Liner. I'm just kind of drawing down uh, some big lines just to give myself a sense of false lash or yes, false lashes on the bottom. Now I'm taking some big false lashes by Fright Night on the top. I think it's about those lashes is the one. Now I'm using my Maybelline Illegal Ink mascara and just putting my real lashes and my false lashes together and of course doing the bottom lashes as well. And this is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I this took me like a long time. Like I said I was really indecisive about what I wanted to put in this. Um, but I think it turned out pretty nicely for my first kind of Mardi Gras inspired thing. I don't live anywhere by New Orleans. I live in Chicago. So, um, I'm, we're not French, so we don't really celebrate Mardi Gras. Um, at least my family doesn't. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope I kind of brought the colors to life. I know it's like green and yellow and purple. I tried. <laughs> they're, they're all kind of my least favorite colors, but I tried. So, um, tell me what you guys think about this look, if you like it or not. Um, and let me know in the comments down below what I should do next. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. See you in my next video. Bye. And I want to shout out to everyone who watches my videos. Thank you so much. Thank you, Melody, Abdu, Connie, and Kimberly again. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, love you all. And see you in the next video. Bye.